Hi there, I'm Justin Pritchard for autotrader.ca and in this video, some thoughts, tips, and advice that I hope will help you, your wallet, and your vehicle to escape this year's pothole season unscathed. Now I thought I'd put this video together because I find the majority of coverage out there on the impact of potholes, pun very much intended, tends to center around the financial implications. If a pothole strike blows out your tire, then you're typically out by a couple of hundred bucks and you can easily triple or quadruple that amount if you've got to change a wheel or any other components higher up off the road relating to your suspension, steering or the body of your vehicle. But aside from all of that and how much potholes beat the hell out of your car and how much money they can cost you, they're also a serious safety hazard too. And so keeping that in mind, I've put these three tips together to hopefully help some of you to avoid an expensive repair or even an accident. So the first point is to remember that potholes can cause damage to your tires and other parts of your vehicle that may not be apparent right away. And especially on social media, it tends to be all about the instant catastrophic tire blowout. You hit a pothole, your tire goes flat, and that's the end of it. But keep in mind that potholes can cause damage to your tires and other parts of your vehicle that you may not notice till later. So you could be driving home from work tonight, have a pothole strike, a fairly severe one, your tire is still holding air. That doesn't mean you're out of danger because that could have left lasting damage damage in your tire that may not present itself till later. So maybe a month or two down the line, summer vacation, you've got a fully loaded vehicle full of your family, your gear, maybe you're towing a trailer, then maybe that damaged tire becomes aggravated and then it develops a leak or it goes flat or it blows out. And keep in mind that all three of those things can cause an accident. So your best defense is inspect your tires and do it regularly. And that includes visually checking the treaded area of your tire and then running your hand and doing a visual inspection on the outer sidewall, that's the side of the tire that's easy to see. And don't forget the inner sidewall as well. That's a little bit trickier. You might have to use a flashlight, get your hand in there. You're feeling and looking for signs of rips, tears, gouges, splits, chunks of the sidewall that are missing. And also remember that a lump, typically about the size of an egg or a golf ball, is also a sign of a damaged tire as well. And if your tire's been compromised, then those are all warning signs to have it replaced right away. You don't need me to tell you it is not a good idea to be driving on a damaged tire. And actually, here's a photo that a mechanic friend of mine sent me. This particular customer was in with their truck to have a leaky power steering line repaired, and he spotted this damage to the tire. That tire is like a ticking time bomb. That could have let go at any time at all. All right, and the second thing, what have you got for a spare tire in your vehicle? Because if it's an actual spare tire on a wheel, then good. But keep in mind that some cars, instead of a spare tire and wheel set up like that, use something called an inflator kit or a mobility kit. And that's usually an air compressor that pumps a sealant into a tire that's been punctured as a temporary repair. And other vehicles use run flat tires instead of a spare tire and wheel setup. And along the same lines, those are designed to give you a little bit of extra mobility in the event of a puncture to get to the nearest shop and have the tire replaced. But the thing is, pothole damage is typically much more severe than the punctures that those two alternatives are designed to tackle. Now, I live in Sudbury, Ontario. Potholes are a very major problem there. We've regularly been listed among the worst roads in Canada and blowouts for me are a fairly regular thing when it comes to potholes. I've had five or six of them in recent years and in every single one of those, it is the sidewall of the tire that suffers the damage. In fact, the last time I blew a tire out, there was a piece of the sidewall about the size of the palm of my hand that was actually missing. And if you have that kind of damage, which is more likely with a severe pothole strike, then your inflator kit, mobility kit, and run flat tires are not going to help you and you will be stranded on the side of the road. So if you're traveling, especially somewhere remote, which is much of Northern Ontario where I live, keep that in mind and plan accordingly. And so third and final thing, if you're dodging potholes, be very aware that you're not looking far up the road, which is vital to safety. And that's because you're looking immediately off of the edge of your hood because you're watching potholes. And that means that you're not as aware of the traffic situation around you and neither are your fellow motorists. 
Now that means if you're driving down a pothole covered road, you may want to make steps to position yourself in traffic as far away from everybody else as you can. Assume the driver behind you isn't paying that much attention. They probably don't see you. Assume the same for yourself and drive extra defensively at all times. Well, that's it for the tips. I will finish with two final thoughts here. The first, if you know a pothole strike is inevitable and unavoidable, generally best practice, apply as much braking as possible and then release the brakes at the last possible moment before the impact and ideally hit that pothole with your steering pointed straight ahead. You want to brake to minimize the speed of the impact which will hopefully lessen it but keep in mind that when we brake it makes the front of our cars heavier that's why the front tends to squat down when you apply the brakes. So use the brakes to reduce your speed hopefully lessen the impact but at the last moment releasing the brakes also makes the front of your vehicle lighter hopefully lessening the impact even more and preventing some damage. And finally if you're a new car shopper or a used car shopper and you live and drive in an area where potholes are a big problem you might want to skip the low profile tires and big wheels on whatever it is that you're shopping for. Now that might mean avoiding the sport package depending on what you're buying it might mean not opting for the big wheels with the thinner tires. The reason is the tires are what takes the brunt of the abuse when you strike a pothole. And if you've got a low profile tire with a thin sidewall, just not that much cushion going on there. I find those are typically the ones I have problems with. They're just a little bit more delicate than something with a thicker sidewall. So in general, thicker sidewall is better if you live in an area where potholes are a major concern. Well, that's it for this time. Hopefully that information helps save at least a couple of people out there, an expensive repair bill, or maybe even an accident. Let us know down in the comment section below if you've got your own tips or advice for avoiding pothole related damage or accidents. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there so you never miss any new content. Until next time, my name's Justin Pritchard for autotrader.ca. Take care and drive safe.